This was a fun project that I did some time ago using one of these RF tag or card reader modules, which is inside here, battery powered, sending the information from the card back to a base station. I've tested these over one kilometer apart and uh, they still work using the low power radio system called LoRa. If you wish to know more about that, link in the description. When we move a card underneath the unit, it sends its identification number to the base station. But you can program this. It could be a name and address or an email address or a phone number. If you wish to collect data from people, you could issue them with these cards or tags and collect their information wirelessly. This little unit is contained within the Eligu Most Advanced Arduino Kit. Let's take a look at the simple example in the documentation. In the simple Eligu example here, it describes the RFID module and how we connect it up to the Arduino. The description of the device here, which you can read through. It connects to the Arduino using the SPI or I2C interface. One important thing to note is that it's powered by the 3.3 volt output of the Arduino. So do not connect that to 5 volts or the magic smoke will come out. Here we can see the I2C or SDA connections. There it is in the example. Here we can see it in reality. I've already uploaded the sketch to the board. So let's open the serial monitor and then we can see the output from the device. The example is attempting to overwrite what's called the UID, uh, the universal identification of the card. If we pass a card over it, we get a dump of all sorts of goodness, but many fail messages. It tells us the card ID, and it tells us here in hexadecimal. If you remember or look back at this particular card, when I scanned it on my LoRa module, it was represented in the decimal form. So C4 is 196, EF is 239, E8 is 232, and 2B is 43. Now it's attempting to overwrite that ID, which is not possible on many cards, and is one of the ways in which cards get cloned. No doubt you've heard stories of people having their cards cloned with a duplicate card if they know the PIN number, maybe by putting a camera over an ATM machine, then they can clone the card and use it at will. There are various security issues around this, so I'm not surprised that it was unable to write the UID. We can see here the rest of the data. The amount of data that's stored on a card or a tag depends obviously on, on the card or tag itself. It can be up to as much as two kilobytes of information. But normally, as I said earlier, it's just usually a, a name, address or a telephone number or indeed bank details. You have been warned.